What's up, KNR Squad? It's your girl Kristen, and right now I have to be quiet because I just came in the house very quietly because I don't want Reeve to know that I'm home yet. But essentially, I just got back from my doctor's appointment because I'm doing my little checkup, and today I have the most savage idea. So you guys, well Reef knows that my doctor that does my checkups down there with my lady parts is female. Today I'm going to tell him that my doctor was not in and I had to go with another doctor, a male doctor, and he checked my lady parts and guess what? My doctor made me feel good. So you guys, today I'm going to be telling Reef that my male doctor checked my lady parts and he made me feel good just to see Reef's reaction. Now when I say feel good, you guys know what I mean. Like my eyes were rolling back. You know what I'm talking about? Like I had a good time in there more than I was supposed to. So guys, I'm going to set you guys up and make it seem like I just came in the house and then tell Reef about my little experience at the doctor's office. So guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, follow our vlog channel because we're going to be more consistent over there. And let's get the show started. I'm actually nervous about what he's gonna say, but this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be hilarious. All right, let's go. Catch you soon. Babe, I'm back.
comes in and he's like, okay, take your clothes off. And I was like, well, that's a way to start a hold on, hold on, hold appointment. On. Like, God put damn. it back for three seconds. Hold on. What? Like, he didn't even say hi. He's just like, take your clothes off with a big smile on. He's like, take your clothes off. Okay, that sounds really good. It's hard to right? Yeah. I know. Second of all, you get to take off all your clothes? Yeah, because I was doing a pap smear. Yeah, but you don't need to take off the top for a pap smear. You normally just, I swear they normally put the, the yes, thing over Yes, but, but some doctors like when you work, put the little dress on because it's just easier access, you know, like to get in and out, in and out. So anyways, so I take off all my clothes and the man's still smiling. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this man is weird, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's creepy. Well... But you had on your gown. You already know doctors are kind of weird. They can't write properly. They write chicken scratch and then they say weird shit. You know what I'm saying? So you had on a gown though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But. So anyways. What? Hold on. Isn't it normally supposed to be a girl doctor that does that? Yeah. So why did they give you a guy? Well, a guy or a girl could do it. it doesn't matter. Most females prefer female doctors, but right. it doesn't really matter. Okay. So anyways, so my clothes are off. I'm in a gown. And then he puts the two little sticks at the bottom and I keep my legs up like this. So I'm just open up, open up. And then he puts the blanket on top and he's like, I'll be back. Sitting there waiting for like hours again. Right, I'm waiting for this guy to come back. He's probably dealing with so many patients. So he finally comes back and then he just lifts up the blanket, opens up my leg and the man's smiling again. I was like, was oh my God. Like, Are you saying that your, your, your kitty was cute? What? Oh. what is he smiling about? Are you serious right now? Cause why does he have a big smile on his face? Well, I'm thinking he's nervous. Like maybe he doesn't do a lot of pap smears. Maybe the female doctors just do that. You know, maybe it was like his first time or something. I don't know. Okay, but how could it be his first time if you just said before that all the so girls anyways, I'm like feeling... him and they're smiling every time that they, they get Dr. Ramirez? I didn't, I didn't ask the girls why they like Dr. Ramirez. He's kind of cute. Like he has like a nice face, a friendly face, a nice little beard and stuff. Yeah. But that's the only thing I can think of is why they might like Dr. Ramirez. So anyways, I'm waiting for my pap smear because you know they have to open you up, open the walls up, and then shove the little stick in. You know about that, right? Yes, I've just learned it in health class. Oh, why you got a pap smear? <laughs> no, why would I get one? I heard about it and how it goes, so mm. I know how it goes. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't have took that long, that's what I'm saying. No, so listen. So anyways, he's going in, he's doing his thing. And it, it was like tickling. Mm, tickling. It was like a, it was like a tick, like you know, like a little tickle, like a, like a. Oh, cause the top is like. Yeah, but it, it never tickled like that before. It was like, the hell, it was like a weird feeling, you know. Okay. Like, okay, you wouldn't understand because you don't get pap smears, but. So what? So the tickle, tickle like it made you laugh, like <laughs> stop, or just like. Yeah, I laughed a little bit. It was like, it was, it was more of like a sensation. <laughs> so you made the man like feel a, uncomfortable. <laughs> Why would you do but, that? It was like a little sensation running through my body. A sensation? Yeah, so anyway, so he takes out. Sensation. He takes out the little, I forget what they're called. I call them spatulas that hold the water. A spatula? Open. That's what I call them. Oh, that's what what? <laughs> and so he takes it out and then... Oddly enough, like you're never supposed to do this. Well, I've never had it done to me, but he started using his fingers and he was like moving up in places I've never really been touched and like it felt good, you know? Like he made me feel good. Wait, what, 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 whoa, 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 Hold up. You know, you know, okay, you Hold know when, on, you know when, yo, so. You know when we finish and I get that tingling sensation and sometimes my, my toes curl? Listen, my eyes were rolling back in the back of my head. Like, it felt good. Like, I was like, God damn, is this not a pap smear? Like, what's going on? Yo, what the fuck are you talking about? What? That's not what, what do you mean he put his fingers in there? What are you talking about? Let's bring that shit back. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're supposed to use the tool. And then you said that, that's what you're supposed to do, but then he, he used his hand and you thought that was okay? Babe, you've never had a pap smear before. Different things can happen for different people. I mean, different things can happen for different people. It's a one, it's a, it's a procedure that happens the same way. It doesn't, it's not supposed to change. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. That's not true. Sometimes doctors have to use their hands if they need to get up in nooks and crannies. You know what I'm saying? Because like, 
He was talking about I'm tight, so he has to use his fingers and kind of just like maneuver up there. But the way that he used his fingers, it felt good. Like, so know. you're enjoying. I never felt that movement before. Is what I'm saying. Cause he got up real high too. Cause like the, you know. No God. No God, please no, no. And okay, I did feel weird. Cause like. Yo, you're ch right now. I'm gonna get hot, bro. For what? I wanna get bum buckler vex right now. What you said to me right now, dog? I get the cheese. Right what now. are you getting cheese about? Yeah, I said the man make you feel good on them thing then. Okay, so I can't be honest about how my body feels in a doctor's appointment. Bro, maybe? the man should not be doing that. Why didn't you tell him not to do it? That's doing too much no, now. It's a procedure that needs. That to is be not done. a normal what procedure. You? Nobody does that. How would you know? Bro, the doctor's Babe, clearly take. You're not a girl. You're not a girl. You Yo, my not. eye is burning me right now because I'm getting so hot. Okay, so when you, That's go, not to, a normal when you procedure. go to the doctor's office and you have to get touched down there, do you think I'm saying anything about it? So then it's good if I got a female doctor and then she did the extra. If there was only a female doctor there, I would be like, no, you can't she go to get your... me a little bit of strokes and it rised. That would have been blessed though, right? Okay, if it's if it's rising, that's on you. That's uh, that's. What do you that's mean? You just said your eyes went in the back of your head. What are you talking about? That's my body doing things I don't know what's supposed to be doing. Like, what, what do you mean? I, I'm not. I'm not physically. Bro, you should first of all. You should be, to it. First of all, you should literally said. You know what? My doctor is not in. Let me rebook this appointment. That's the first thing you should have did. But you're talking about. Oh, you're curious to see why all the other girls. Are lining up I, for the doctor. I was not curious. Talking about they're always smiling when they're talking about, oh, I, 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 was not, the I was not curious. I just got the aftermath done, and that was that. All I said was it felt good because it did. And I'm not going to lie about something like that, but maybe I should have just not told you. Now I lost my appetite. Bro, I done lost my appetite either. My freaking bar is over there. So you're telling me my girl went to the, and you went to the team, and you were loving what the doctor was doing to you. Talk about you never had that feeling before. The blood clot at top. Oh, said the man got deep. Where you actually said, bite man, I reach them, them levels there? Never. That's actually. <laughs> never, actually. Oh, fuck. All right. No, because he has the tools, right? Like, he has everything. Bro, what has. tools? You said he was using his hand, bro. Yeah, but then he put the spatula back in. The speculum went back in. First and of then, all, bro, I'm going And yo, I was so wide. And then the man just shoved his fingers up. I'm like, bro. I mean, that's that's what happens. It's okay, because tomorrow I'm gonna see Dr. Ramirez, because that's not happening, bro. Well, that doesn't happen. There are certain doctors that be taking advantage of people, and that's one of the doctors okay, that try to do that. So I'm not making no blood clot money violate my girl. Wait, that man tell him I'm do that. So tomorrow I'm gonna so tomorrow I'm gonna box him down. So if, yo, I'm so you're jealous right of a doctor? What do you mean? He's not supposed to do that. Okay, He's overstepping. How, yes, his he boundaries. is. Yes, he is. What do you mean? Yes, he Sometimes is. Sometimes you have to do that. How? When? Because you're trying to reach the cervix. And oh, if there's complications, you need to be resourceful and use other tools that you have. So he used the fingers then. So you're going to go up in there and tell Dr. Ramirez how to do his job. And then That's exactly basically what I mean. show him that you're I'm going to tell you, first of all, I don't give a fuck about being in his First of all, he's never supposed to see you. You what? go to your, your, your main doctor, the girl. Okay. Yeah, not Dr. Ramirez, whoever the fuck this guy is. Okay. Like, what are you so talking anyways, about? So after the, can I just... I don't want to hear nothing else, bro. I don't want to hear nothing else. Then we were, then we were talking else. for a little while. I just said I don't want to hear nothing else. What do you understand? I'm vexed right now. I don't want to hear it. Because basically what you're telling me is that you enjoyed the, what the man was doing. And then you try to violate me just now saying, yo, man, you never felt that before. I was like... So that's even a bigger disrespect right now. I got wet. Alright, yo. It was awkward for me. I was like, yo, is this really happening right now? Oh. Like, my body was reacting in ways that I never knew that okay, it would. You know what you're gonna do? You know what you're gonna do? You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna give me this doctor's number? It's the doctor's <coughs> office. You can call the doctor. Babe, come on. First of all, I don't know who the hell your doctor is. When they send that letter in the mail, I don't know who your doctor is. Okay. <coughs> I have a different doctor than you. So yeah. who's your doctor? I don't know who your doctor is. 
Well, now it's going to be Dr. Ramirez because I feel like he knows what he's doing. We had a conversation. Well, it's never going to be your doctor again. What are you talking about? You feel like he knows what he's doing. He clearly doesn't know. So, oh, so you want to go there to feel good is what you're telling me right now. Because you said you never felt Well, it's better anymore. to feel you know? good than hurting. My female doctor, she always hurts me. I'm just like, ouch, ow, you're hurting me. Like, chill. But Dr. Ramirez knows what the fuck he's doing. So why am I going to say no to that? Come on, don't be childish, seriously. Bro, what are you talking about? If it was just a regular thing, then okay, I get it, I understand. I wouldn't be mad, but you're telling it me was... here that the man is doing all sorts of things and your eyes are rolling in your back of your head. Okay, That's so I can't gonna tell get you me about vets, my bro. day, it's fine, it's fine. I just wanna tell you Nobody about Nobody said you can't tell me about your I'm day, first of all. I'm just gonna tell you how I was like dripping down my leg. For some odd reason. And then I wanted to come home and I was turned on and I was gonna tell you to come down here so we can do a little something something. See, I'm, I'm thinking about so, uh, you. Next... I'm not thinking about the doctor. I'm thinking about you. So you're telling me right now that a next man turns you on, so you wanted to come home and do something with me. Do you What's hear how that, that sounds? That? You hear all that bumble clot sound? You hear all that sound right now? You hear all that sound? You're telling me say, a next man turn you on and you want to come home, come give me the left two of us? <laughs> Got <it. laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay, leftover. Wait, this is like fucking Thanksgiving the next day? Nah, bro. It's just a prank. No. <laughs> Dr. Ramirez got you in your feels, baby. What's wrong? I went to my same doctor as usual. And I just took longer because I went to Starbucks and had a little brownie and sat in the parking lot and waited so you could ask what took me so long. What I got home because you know you can't come strong. No, I'm not Dr. playing with you. No, 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 no. You're lying. You're lying to me. Lying. You're lying. Really? Next up, I'm going to be your new doctor. You're going to, oh, what are you going to do for me? I'm going to use you're the gonna, tools. You're going to bring me back to health? You said two specialists, right? Uh, All right. That's what you're going to use? Somebody's jealous of Dr. Ramirez. Ooh. He opened me up. Why? <laughs> okay, chill, bro. What? Nah. What? She's doing too much. Am man. I doing Listen, too much? Your girl comes home and tells you that her doctor did that. Go visit the doctor <laughs> and slap that. Again, bro. Slap him upside his head for violating your shorty. All right, there's a lot of doctors that be doing that. Is there? Yes. I maybe doing a little bit much. too much. Okay. Trying to have a little bit of fun. I think that that's you watching maybe your little shows. I don't care. That's not happening to mine. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. You use a female doctor. Okay, so what were you going to do to Dr. Ramirez if he went into the doctor's office? Like, what, what were you going to say to him? Let's just, let's just see. What do you mean what I'm going to say to him? I was going to ask him, what the frick is he doing? What are you talking about, bro? You use, you're supposed to use one thing. Yes. Yeah. Swab. It's yeah. not, it's not a, going in and out. Oh. That's not that's not happening. Bro. Okay, and then, then then what are you gonna do? What do you mean? If he's like, yeah, Reef, I'm supposed to do that, and I was feeling it. Your girl's very attractive. What are you gonna do? I'll, I swear, I'll <laughs> one hot pepper talk, bro. If he said that to me, if he had, if he literally said to me, okay, babe, this is just hypotheticals. Don't get yourself worked yeah, up. Well, Guys, well. smash that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel and um. Look out for Dr. Ramirez. Hide your wife, hide your girl, because Dr. Ramirez is on the loose. Okay, I'm, I'm going now. <laughs> we <Yeah>. out. <laughs>